everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome to Let's Play Yoshi's Woolly World! If you're a fan of challenge in your platformers, oh, I've got some good news for you, because the kid gloves come off right away, but I'm not personally a fan of the way that they come off. Why is that? Well, it presents you with the hardest decision of your life right away! These file icons are not mere product placement peanuts. No, they are not. The save file you choose is your starter Yoshi. The other two colors that you don't select must be unlocked at a later time. If you share a system with a sibling, first come, first serve, you snooze, you lose, get in your pick first and all that jazz. Sorry to drop in so suddenly, but I need to turn you all into yarn. Thanks. Ha, joke's on you, I'm already made out of- Kamek just skinned them all alive. That is what happened here. This art style is totally the way it is to preserve the E rating, so this is not the M rated extreme version of Yoji. We're just gonna spring into action! <laughs> the first pun I didn't make, nor the second, had nothing to do with fabric. And, you know, you'd kind of expected to have to do a lot with fabric because it gives me a lot of material to work with. <laughs> Kind of hinting that there's invisible objects. If an egg overlaps with it, or you overlap with it, it'll make it visible. Uh, that was cheap, come on! <laughs> uh, okay, I guess that teaches me a lesson now, don't it? If uh, you have not fully spawned in a platform yet, maybe wait for it to fully load in before you go over to it. And we prove that we've been collecting the skins of our dead friends this entire time and performing seances to bring them back to life because we have brought back Flower Yoshi. Is it me? Am I inside Yoshi's hut? That sounds really creepy now that I say it in that particular way. Please discard that. Got some sprunginess right off the bat. And I see two eggs right there. I don't even see them as human beings. I see them as eggs for my own ends. I see them as sweet, caloric nutrients for me to reproduce so that I may murder more of them by throwing my unborn children at them. That's some hardcore stuff right there. Never even mind the art style masking Yoshi's sinister, uh, world right here. All right. You there. No fun allowed. Oh, Grand Pound turning into a hammer. Again, I would really hate to see what this would look like in a realistic style with all these things being made out of flesh, but, you know, we just kind of get to look the other way because it all looks cute the way that they've drawn it for us. All nice and sterile-like. Behind the mystery game show door. Umbrella Yoshi! The umbrella is made of flesh. I wonder if dirt and, uh, dirt and yarn have similar nutritional value. Adding that to the list of questions nobody else has ever asked in the history of time. Oh, that Shy Guy's sleeping spot was a hint. I'm sorry, all I saw was death. I didn't see life within death. Uh I deserve that. Push the chomp rock a little bit further. And aw, he's gone. He will not be doing any rolling anymore except rocking back and forth in there as anybody walks over him. But his, his, he will not be forgotten. He gave his life for our Miiverse stamp. What a sad, horrific legacy. I like these things. They're just fun to plow through everything with. I just realized I haven't hit a nipper plant with an egg yet. See what I- No, 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 uh, Yes, apparently, uh, no. Uh, no. Well, I hit the spore, if that counts. Uh, whoa, that was so cool! It <laughs> kept ricocheting and hit the block for me. That was neat. I like that. Launch it in there and it'll show you a secret. That's so cool. I'm happy. Chomp Rock can have a worthwhile legacy here today. Right away, top us off, and these lumps in the ground are dead. <laughs> well, I was talking about records, and we definitely saw one of those too. This enemy died before we even got a chance to see what it was. Throw an egg at a Monty Mall before this stage is over. Hello, you showed up right on cue, thank you. I appreciate your corpse serving a purpose for my ends of having a collection of corpses. They run very fast, too. Whoa. Fred. I don't care how stupid or impossible this- 
I don't care how possible this is. We did it. <laughs> Pound his ass! Thank you. Sheep! Shulkyoshi! <laughs> there are lots of third and second party and tertiary studios that have appearances inside of this. The fact that there is an official canonical Yoshi that looks like Shulk and is named Shulk Yoshi is extremely cathartic to me, because this is something that five years ago I probably would have never thought ever had an even 1% chance of happening. More clever visual theming. The bow turns into a butterfly. Or should I say, Boaterfly. I hope that's the official name. I don't actually know the name of it because it's not an enemy, so there's not really a whole lot of resources on what it would be called, but I'm sure somewhere deeper than the recesses of Nintendo, somebody had the same idea for a pun that I just did. Up we go. Oh, I meant to eat you, not eyeball you. I can kind of see why that would hurt Yoshi a lot. That's the thing about Yoshi is that Every now and again, there'll be animations with him that look really painful because there's no bone surrounding his eyes. He just has eyeballs with eyelids on them, and that's it. His skull does not have its eyeballs inside of it, and I just sometimes see like him hit himself in the eyes with his hand or something, and it looks really, really creepy and painful, and it's probably one of the most gory things about Yoshi you'll actually get a chance to see that the art style's not censoring! Did I really only get three flowers? Yes, I did. Aha! Back on the other side of the windmills is not a flower. Ooh, what you say? I guess so. Ooh, what you say? Says it's one of my favorite levels. Uh, all right. Well, unravel your pants at me and tell me how badly I did. Murderer! Murderer! How do you like that? I killed you so spectacularly that. I blew up your house to destroy you. That is what we do to murderers in this country. Cannibals, though, those are fine. No, I do it every day, you know? It's like the circle of life. They gave their life force to me so that I could live on. That was really cheap. Look at this guy and his bombs. How he's just willing to put the lives of all these people on the line and be that dangerous. It's always the quiet ones, I tell you. They're called shy guys, but I don't know, man. I think there's a reason why they're so introverted, you know? You can't trust them. <laughs> what was Poochie thinking? That soccer is fun? That he wants to play? That he loves balls! However, our jubilant demeanor was short-lived as things got very serious in Shy But Deadly where we blew up a forest to blow up the people that were blowing up the forest. So we just kind of overcomplicated things and became a middleman. Eh, smart business venture. And here we got Cheap Cheeps. They are but lowly platforms for our sneakers to rest upon as we go across the water. But the rest is short-lived because... Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna hit that. Normally you hit him with uh, an egg and then you stomp on his head, but because we can just ground pound him, then yeah, we have it quite a bit easier. Moto Yoshi! Defy enemies and gravity with Yoshi's blinding speed! Oh, and uh, jump with A, of course. It leaves out the most important feature. Look at this. By pressing B, you can honk his nose! You ever have somebody with just a big ol' round nose and you want to honk it so badly, but you don't want to ask them if that's allowed because you're afraid of them taking it as an insult? No, just me? Okay, well, you can live out your fantasies now because Yoshi has a very round and by extension very honkable nose. I love it. The any percent category for Yoshi's Woolly World is hilarious. You play up to this point as fast as you possibly can. You do that segment and just kill yourself so that you have to, or not kill yourself though, but make the time run out at the very end so that you have to play it over and over and over again, grind up until you have 550,000 uh, beads, and then because you're playing in mellow mode, you just buy skip the course every single level. It's hilarious. It, it's so stupid. 
and it takes the fun completely out of it, yet <laughs> it's actually kind of brilliant that that's what the fastest way to speedrun this game is. You just, you only really have to play the game up to this level, and that's a reason why the only category for it's 100%, and as you can imagine with how many collectibles there are, there aren't really a whole lot of people that run it. I've seen people run it, it's very impressive when they get it going, it's just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for a lot of people to do when a lot of other platforming games aren't quite as demanding. For me to go down and shame. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Yoshi Melon had me so over the moon that I just rushed into the stage without giving it a second thought. And I'm like, ha ha ha, Yoshi Melon, I can't wait to use him. And yeah, we're doing this here today. And I was so enthusiastic. Then I realized that I didn't use Circus Yoshi, um, uh, uh, partway, half of, mo, all of the stage. It's a nice little touch they didn't have to do, but <laughs> look at him doing the moonwalk right there. <laughs> That's really adorable. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. No, come back! No, no, no! 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 Get on the ball! <laughs> That's playing Yoshi in a nutshell. Bert the Bashful! Throw an egg, lick his pants. Not an allegory for anything, not an innuendo, that is actually what we are doing. He's a bit of a performer. We'll have to see who the superior performer out of the two is. Oh, come on! How dare you just face away from me so I can't lick you. We're getting a lot of really good out of context stuff in this fight, but it's all completely makes sense in context, I swear. And his pants are pretty low. One more hit and we're gonna be raising the age rating of this game. Oh my God, he's a girl? Uh, so this boss reminds me of a story of something really weird that happened to me when I was younger. Um. I swear that this is not going to be really, well, this is going to be a little naughty, but I swear it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, on a message board, I saw a guy one time who was bragging about being suspended from school for beating up another kid who made fun of him for playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, I know, Animal Crossing. The most innocent, innocent, nice game there is. And he beat somebody up over making fun of him for not playing that, was bragging about it to other Animal Crossing players. He's telling this big ol' long story about everything he did to this kid as if it was something worth bragging about. And at the very end of the story, he has one of the most glorious typos I've ever seen. He said, and to top it all off, I gave him a good lick in the balls. <laughs> and <laughs> there was no edit button because this was early 2000s and forums weren't really that far along yet, so... <laughs> Everybody was making fun of him, and he's like, no, no, kick, kick, I meant to say kick, and he was trying in vain to protect himself, but he was just bringing upon himself so badly because he thought this was something that was doing good in the world and was worth bragging about. Come on. Come on. Uh, no, no, oh, my thumb slipped off the A button. Yeah. When Yoshi never stops going hey, ha, 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 the entire stage and you die and no checkpoint and going all the way back to the start, it's pretty terrible. I get through my excess of, I have an overwhelming surplus of watermelon. Oh no, oh, that was playing with fire right there. Okay, give me that so that I can not die. No, bounced off it. I, oh, it's giving us unlimited eggs because we're supposed to use them. <laughs> That makes sense. Now I'm gonna machine gun you all down with my face. Cause we're just that hardcore. Look at this, I'm cannibalizing one thing while killing another one of my own kind. I'll take two eggs. <laughs> Yoshi's sound effect he make when he flutter jumps. First time I ever heard this was in Super Smash Brothers 64. And I remember back then, because I, I didn't really know that it was just Yoshi gibberish and I thought he was actually talking like some of the other characters in that game do. I was... Dead. Oh! Oh, that's dirty. 